All right, welcome back. This is M Dog, and we are here at Lower Tunguska, fishing for Eastern Bream. A little early of a start time for Bream, but like I sometimes do, want to just sort of slide into Bream time and see as they uh, hopefully pick up and get larger. We are at 95.97 and we are clipped at 20 meters. So we'll test this out. We're using garlic dough and PVA to try to target the bream. And I will show you this PVA mix momentarily. You see that that one sort of tree that's almost down on the beach, not the not the tall ones, but the sort of small to medium sized one that I'm kind of pointing at there. Um, kind of aiming at that or just right of that. And again, going 20 meters. Uh, just using a little pyramid sinker, make sure we don't get too messed up by the current. 7.4 liter size is what I've decided to go with here. Large one hooks, garlic dough, and then we're using a pretty standard bream PVA mix that um, hopefully will give us a good view on how active this spot is for Eastern Bream. It's 1900 right now. Um, typically you wanna have your lines in for Bream at least by 2200, if not 20. So we're in a little early, but we should be seeing the size increase here pretty soon. A couple of spots on Tunguska I want to try. One with uh, bottom feeders for Eastern Bream that we're doing now. The other one, uh, hopefully if I have time, the next video today will be there's a uh, f uh, match float match uh, spot for some of the... Uh, nice float fishing we have here at Tunguska. I thought we'd give that a try as well. I haven't done match rod fishing in a while, so it kind of sounded like that might be fun. But yeah, this is where we are on the map. Right near Spawn Point, very convenient Eastern Bream spot if you're looking for something to do at night at Tunguska. A lot of folks trolling Tunguska during the day, um, which is often a pretty lucrative thing to do, but nighttime, unless you're going to hook up for the uh, Amur Cats, which is an option, but if you're not going to do that, sometimes Eastern Bream is the way to go. So there's a couple thousand XP on a one kilo eastern bream not bad at all we might have undercast that or it might have been perfect i'm not sure so let's go check and see um so one kilo eastern bream worth how much six silver and you know hopefully we'll get maybe 20 of those so uh maybe a 150 silver night something like that no Eastern Bream Cafe orders. Do you have the pellet, the amul, broadfish, all fish that you possibly could catch while float fishing? I don't know the spot we're trying. I'm not sure which of those species or what exactly is active over there, but we will try that out a little bit later. In fact, I may roll right into the float fishing, uh, not on the same video, but like in this same game day. So we might stop Bream a little early, 6, 7 a.m. We'll see how it's going, though. If it's really good and it feels like a trophy might come out, we might not stop early. We'll see. We are using large one hooks. 
because I've been playing this game for so long and remember when bream fishing was more more likely to be people using size 8 hooks I always wonder okay would we have a better bite rate if we went back down to a normal bream size hook but it seems like the current meta is to use large one hooks and Testing is hard in this game unless you really put the hours in and are very um, obsessive about the testing But because there's so many factors. Uh, but just my, my general sense has been in the last year or so, uh, large one hooks has probably been a little better in trying to hit some larger size bream. But I could be convinced otherwise. It's just, again, there's so many factors, it's hard to get a really good test on it. We probably ought to put our lights down. It's going to start getting dark here. So let's light our path a little bit. I think it'll work here. Right on the edge of the water line. All right. Yeah, it's pretty slow right now. Um, that doesn't mean it won't pick up at nighttime, but at least regular bream spots, I think at this time of, of, of evening or afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, if it's this slow, that's not a good sign, so we'll see. We are using PVA in the large one hook, so that might be scaring away some of the smaller ones. Maybe we're, maybe we're still okay once the larger eastern breams sort of start feeding here, but... Yeah. Alright, so here's our first... Our first real one and we want to kind of notice here we're going to want to have friction breaks down on 15 you kind of see how how much it's popping up i'll ease it back up to kind of get over the hump here and pull it in but if we sit here with our friction break at 25 or something uh, and, and we hit a really nice one it will pop it so as i pick up these next ones so 5700 xp with premium uh, and happy hour on a 2.8 Eastern Bream. Why don't we have PVA on this one? I don't know. I thought I had put PVA on that one, but maybe not. So you may have to, uh, all my, all my fun community members in the Russian Fishing 4 group you may have to forgive me. I am seriously considering putting a, um, doing a little bit of a, a video on Fishing Planet. The, and the only reason is because I recently had a, um, such a fun time on, on my vacation. We went out and were able to fish tarpon. Uh, I said during my stream last week, it, it, it may be my new favorite fish to actually fish for in real life. And uh, in between my calls during my work shift last night, which I do have to work tonight as well, I realized that they actually have tarpon in Fishing Planet at the, uh, I think it's the Mississippi map. So, might have to fire up Fishing Planet. I just, just to go experience the digital version of Fishing Tarpon. It, it was such an amazing experience in real life that I'm sort of drawn to at least trying it. So, we'll see. I think I would have to purchase a pond pass though. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Mississippi is level 54 or 6, 54 I think. And I don't think I'm that high in fishing planet. I might be 51 or something like that. So unfortunately it would take a pond pass to get me there, but it might be worth it to me just to experience that since overall things feel a little slow in RF4 still for me. So we're having lots of nibbles here. I can't tell if any of these nibbles have taken yet. It doesn't look like it. 
So we've seen a couple over one kilo. Obviously, we want that to pick up to say this is a good spot at this point. You might catch a little bit higher volume with, with ground bait. I don't know. I feel like PVA, kind of like the large one hooks, is sort of a signal that you're trying to catch really big ones. Trying to open yourself up to the best chance you can have on that RNG of getting a decent really decent one but uh, again I, I haven't done enough testing to say that with any confidence all right this is a tiny one I try to when we're doing these videos I try to remember to keep all the fish so that by the end of the time we can get a good view of how many markers versus sub marker size we have So there's three over a kilo, still early. There's a chance we could turn this into a decent night of bream fishing. I think that one is on now. Let's see, yeah. Just swam towards shore a little bit. My work week does end tonight, so hopefully in the next couple days we can get some more streams going. Uh, definitely want to at least get a chance to hang out with some folks, if nothing else. Thirteen minutes, twelve, ten, five, two, two, one. So there's been a little bit of a pickup here as it's gotten a little later. Hopefully that will continue. Still fighting off this, you know, crud a little bit, coughing, sore throat, congestion, but definitely better than I was two days ago. And have been able to sort of work through it, not take any time off either, but it's been a little, uh, you know, that feeling of kind of almost like you're underwater. I guess it's just the congestion and pressure in the head and stuff, but really no complaints, doing okay. Yeah, we're getting a little activity here. We just need, we need to get some decent ones going here. We've only gotten three. It's past midnight now. We need to pick it up a little. Looks like both of them just hit at pretty much the same time.
we did look at the PVA, right? Pearl barley, millet porridge, peas, maggots, chopped worm, and garlic. There definitely are some more, um, what would you say, kind of interesting Eastern Bream recipes out there that have worked at times. Um, with more like pellets and other stuff in it, but I feel like this one's a pretty interesting, just like standard, not that far off of something that you might use for regular bream. Seemed like a safe, a safe choice. Will this reach a kilo? I'm not sure. So it's definitely a little bit bigger. Um, it's not one of those tiny ones. Yeah, that'll be a kilo, won't it? 1 1.2. All right, more of those, please. More of those. So let's see where we're at since we're, since it's not the most uh, intense bite rate ever. Um, 17 for the 2.8. They definitely start going up in price really nice uh, but we've only got the five so far over a kilo almost already a 50 silver though so you don't necessarily have to have the craziest night ever to make some pretty decent silver in the evening here especially since during the day you're also probably doing quite well here at Tunguska either on lures ultralight um, trolling or even doing float fishing when the float fishing is really hot you could make nice silver and xp off of that during the day so that does sort of take the pressure off of not feeling like you have to have the craziest night ever on eastern bream but let me check these messages really quick I just never know what the uh, messages I'm getting might say, so I need to be a little careful about putting that on the video, so I also don't want to be rude and wait too long with responding to people. Looks like it could be a nice pull. Yeah. Alright, we'll go up to 18 here and get it in. It's probably another two and a half kilo at least, right? Let's hope. And we are a hundred percent catching Eastern Bream. 1.9, not bad. We are a hundred percent catching Eastern Bream. Uh, less bycatch, I guess, than you might have if you're fishing for regular bream at one of the other maps that has bream. Yeah, it definitely is, um, if not the best bite rate at this point, at least we are getting a better percentage of decent ones, right?
What does that put us at? Six, seven. If it was regular bream, which these sell for a little more here at Tunguska, but if it was regular bream, you'd want to see, you know, at least 12 over a kilo, if not more like 18 or more. Um, I don't know that we can have that same standard here to necessarily justify it because like I said at Tunguska during the day you're probably killing it so this is just sort of icing on the cake uh, where if you're at Old Berg and you're really into bottom fishing most of your silver for the day will come from the bream at night so it's kind of a different mindset you have uh, Eastern bream end up being a really nice source of income especially considering what all you can do during the day here uh, in fact one of my favorite combinations when especially spots like this that are so close to spawn is to hit eastern bream at night and then just walk over to the creek and uh, do ultralight stuff during the day it's very little uh, wear and tear on gear uh, in terms of having to worry too much about repair cost of stuff see the creek starts right there i mean we're just a few few yards from it and um and and both eastern bream and the stuff that you're catching on those ultralight setups is just so much fun so a lot of good combos at tunguska i think that's why um especially sp folks who are into spin fishing it's hard to beat this map Another nice one. We will take it. Would love to see a few more uh, just like that or a couple more in the larger range. That would really help. We're definitely seeing a sudden... Uh, burst and bite rate it feels like which I'm okay with I wonder if, if these little cautious bream if, if we should consider using something other than the pyramid sinker uh, I don't know that those pyramid sinkers are necessary to um, to hold the bottom in a situation like this, we might be able to use more of the like um, you know the, the more like carp related. I mean, the more disguised sinkers, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Especially on this little short cast, it's Tunguska does have a reasonably strong current, but it, it might work if it's heavy enough. Almost to 12. I feel, you know, well, 11 really over a kilo. No, 10, sorry. 10 over a kilo. Here's 11. It's a nice one. Yes, first one over three. I 
I tell you what. So this is what I was talking about. Like we could use something like maybe this 70 gram or even a, I don't remember what the uh, test is up to 95. So yeah, we probably wouldn't want to go more than 70 on the sinker, but something like that. Maybe it's a little more disguised if it holds the bottom, which I think it will. It could be good. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if those pyramid seekers are necessarily messing with the bream or not. Um, and I can't remember if there's any river sinkers. I mean, those pyramids are pretty cheap. Are there any river sinkers that are advertised as being, um, you know, higher quality? I mean, you really would think that any of these that sort of lie flat on the bottom. Now, these I would worry might be more likely to push, but if it lies flat, I don't think in this situation it's going to pull. All these came out with the carp stuff with amber, right? Just throw some some lead out there. Frame side of these got little marks on there. You think they would they would stick to? I don't know. I mean, I've used these pyramids a lot, so I, I, I'm not necessarily saying they're bad or anything. But I do wonder, um, you know, these potentially are a little bit more on the cautious side. That was weird to get one that small at this time of day. Yeah, I think we do want to be in that 70 range though. So like this should just sit flat, right? Should be fine. Tighten that up, make sure it's sitting there. Do a last minute experiment with some different sinkers. All right, so over a kilo, we end up at 12 right now. We're gonna give it about another in-game hour or so because I, I think I wanna go get set up for float fishing for the next video but um so if you stay till 8 or 9 a.m you're gonna have a maybe a few more big ones uh i feel like 7 a.m when we're when we're probably gonna stop you're still able to catch some really nice eastern bream at that point so we're stopping a little early but i, I want to get a at least a like a a good half day of float fishing in so And we've had, what, 24 total fish. It's been a good little, I think it's been a good little, good little evening of Eastern Bream. I, I, at least based on our setup, what we're using right now, this spot does not feel like it's on fire or anything. But we're, we've got 131 silver in a night, so, and the night's not, or the Eastern Bream time is not complete yet. So, pretty good. Let's get one more decent one here. Try to. We're going to be going down to here. Somewhere down here to try float fishing. <coughs> Oh yeah, there's a good one. That helps here, right at the end.
All right, that's pretty much time. Can we get one more here? Still had some decent ones coming in right up until this point, so perhaps we can. Thinking about what size leader I want to use for float fishing. All right. Yeah, this is the time when some really nice bream can come in. So, again, we're going to be stopping a little bit before you would normally want to stop bream fishing if you're really going for it. But there's another nice one. Uh, this time of day is when sometimes the largest ones will come in. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up here and see how we did. Uh, we've got a nibble going on that first one. I hate to pick it up. Okay, let's just go ahead and call it here. see how we did all right 158 silver in the overnight not too bad at all just one over three but uh yeah it's pretty fun little eastern bream spot all right thanks for joining me try to do a little bit of float fishing here but uh, i appreciate uh appreciate the support hope you guys are doing well tight lines everybody i will see you in just a little while